I'm Michael Kelly, and for the purposes of CM14 Project Planning and Management, I want to introduce to you over the next seven minutes or so the concept of the project cycle. You will have seen readings about this, and you need to explore widely. And you'll see the project cycle presented in a number of different ways. But I want to present it to you in a five, six step process and draw it out on the board just to maybe give you an, an understanding of where, what it is and where it comes from. So the project cycle is presented as a, an ongoing cycle of how projects are developed and it follows a number of clear steps. The first step is called the conceiving of the conceiving of step and this is step number one. This is Conceiving of the idea, the project idea, the notion of having to do something or wanting to do something about a problem, even how you conceived of the idea of taking up this degree, doing it by night, etc. That you somehow got this idea, maybe somebody who said it to you, maybe something you've read. It may have been something that has been on your mind for many years and now is the opportunity for to, you to do it. But somewhere in the project was the notion of conceiving of the idea. Having conceived it, you went on to step number two, which is planning. In the planning step, so this is number two, you have to consider a number of things. Have you the time? Can you make the arrangements? Where can you do the degree? What is the most suitable degree? How will you pay for it? Who will make, can you do it in conjunction with your work or conjunction with your personal life or whatever it is? So there's a whole range of factors. So these are all planning issues that you have to take into account. So after conceiving of the idea, you move on to the planning of it. Following the planning, what do you think comes next? Yeah, it's the implementation. Implementation. That is step three. This is the doing of. The pulling into practice. The rubber hitting the road. This is doing. So when you move from the planning, you're into the doing. So you're turning up, you're here, you're attending the classes, you know your timetable, you know when the semester starts, the midterm break, when it finishes. This is all part of the planning. What time can you get here? You're traveling on your own, traveling with somebody else. Um, doing this module, you've probably chosen it because it means you don't have to come every week, etc. So these are all components of how you plan things out. So you've thought about this and you've planned it out. And you will meet some people who are very detailed planners and you'll meet some other people who don't pay that much attention to planning. But in project management it's very important. So following the implementation there are two steps that are linked but they're two separate steps. One is monitoring monitoring and I mentioned the, the, this because this is step number four. I mentioned the fifth step as well, which is evaluation. Evaluation. So that's step number five. Often people mix the two together, don't draw any distinction between one or the other. So I want to draw a distinction here. So let's look at monitoring. Just think for a moment. Monitoring is what goes on at this present time. You are monitoring the environment at the moment. Do you feel cold? Do you feel hot? Is the room stuffy or the place you're in? Is there much noise around you or is it quiet? Can you hear my voice clearly or is there some interruption? Can you see the picture clearly or is there fuzziness? 
Are you getting a bit bored? Or do you say, this is really interesting, this is exciting? All of these, it's the collection of data, of information that feeds into our senses, all our senses, our sight, our hearing, our taste, our smell, our feeling, our internal feeling. Do you feel hungry? You feel tired? You think you'll go to bed? You think you want to go through tomorrow? You're worried about something, whatever. These are all monitoring issues. And we take them on board at a time, sometimes very consciously and sometimes unconsciously. But monitoring goes on all the time. Whereas evaluation is a staged process. So by the midterm break, when you come to the midterm break in the first semester or this semester, you're going to say, I don't think I'm able to continue. Or you're going to say, looking forward to the break. Or you're going to say, I need to do a bit of the background work, or whatever. That is evaluation, so it's a phase. The midterm will be a phase. The end of the semester will be a phase. Having completed the assignment or the exam will be a phase. So they're staged processes. And indeed, in, the, in this degree, there will be some evaluation at the end of it. But you see, that's a phase, the end. There will also be end of year evaluation. That's a stage. So they are. So, so the difference in the monitoring is it's constant ongoing, it's big data, it's collecting all the information. Whereas evaluation may be a written evaluation, it may be the group getting together and with the tutor and having a discussion, it may be some other form of feedback, it may be you saying, I want to give some feedback, so you write, write an email, whatever. So that is the evaluation. So do you see the difference between the two? Monitoring and evaluation. Now monitoring and evaluation will lead on to planning again, because you would say, I've taken on too many modules this semester, or I haven't taken on enough modules this semester. Depending on how you are monitoring, and when the evaluation goes back, if you get really good results, you'd say, God, I could have done a bit more, or I'm happy with what I've done, or maybe I've done too much. Equally, as you're going along, if you just are feeling it's eating up too much time, you may say, next year I won't. So your planning will change based on the monitoring and evaluation. But equally, it could input into the conceiving of. Because some people who finish off the degree will say, I want more of this. So they go on and they do a further qualification, a master's or a higher diploma, for which I'm responsible, or things like that. So they progress on beyond their current level. The conceiving of, I want to do more. Or the conceiving of, maybe, I want to do other things totally different from the academic world. But in either way, the process of doing of implementing, monitoring, and evaluation, and replanning, monitoring, uh, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation, will at some stage impact on conceiving of doing something else. So, in these five stages, I have simply introduced to you the project cycle. Your readings will give you more information on it. Your wider reading will give you these stages plus other variations added into them. But I advise you, always in your head, keep it simple. And think about the things you're doing. Getting here is a project. So you conceive how am I going to get here, you plan it, you implement it, and then you monitor and evaluate, evaluate it. Uh, doing this module is a project, so you will go through these stages. Planning your break for Christmas will be the same. Planning somebody's birthday will be the same. A project in work will be the same. Project. So these are all projects. They're projects and project. Remember, a project has a defined start, a middle, and an end. And you can define, you can see where the start and the end is, whereas a program goes on over a much longer period of time and contains a number of projects. But the project will have conceiving, planning, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation. I hope you found this useful. And we finish this uh, video piece here. Thank you.